this on? Hello? Testing? I think it's on. So, oh, look at Donnie Marie here. Wait a second. I see that I'm a bit, I have a moon roof. It's not a sun roof. It's when the sun is shining, it's a sun roof, but it's a, uh, it's more of a moon roof in my mind because it's large, large and in charge. And he, like much like Tony Marie, and there's the engagement ring of the day. It's like a peachy, you know what it's called? Uh, it's peachy with a halo, like a queen I am. And um, it's called, it's based off of, so based off of in nature, something in nature that's based off. I'm so greasy. So I'm going to just ungrease because who wants to look like a real human with grease? I mean, you don't want to look like you're naturally human, 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 human awaits. Anyway, uh, I'm not sure where I was going with that one, but let me just get back to, oh, engagement ring of the day. Morganite, <clears throat> named after J.P. Morgan, who was, I think, a bit of a capitalist bastard, but, um... He had a pretty okay stone. He had some stones on him. I mean, like the peach, peachy pink. It's pink, peachy pink. So, just, oh yeah, that's right. It's, it's self-care Sunday, I forgot. No abuse. You can do a little tap. But you're going to be nicer today. You're going to be nice to Dorney Marie. You're going to be nice to yourselves. <sighs> All right. But, um, oh, so the point of this whole thing is that I'm going to do uh, for my cousin Jeannie in San Diego has been asking me all week. This is chess for her and many of you will benefit. It is an eye shadow tutorial because she I have a, a vat of eyeshadow sitting next to me. You can't see it now, but it's like a witch's cauldron full. I mean, it's gigantic. If you can imagine a witch in a Salem witch trial days, and they get one of them big cauldrons in the woods, and they weren't doing nothing bad. They were just, you know, for their health. They were dancing, doing fun stuff, and then everybody misinterpreted that the way they sometimes misinterpret Donnie Marie and her intentions, and I have a cauldron full of eyeshadows. So this lovely lady has the mark of the macaroni she definitely has it does she not look like a queen is she not a direct ancestor of the Doni Marie that is Maria Conjemi Caborlingua and Amalasia macaroni and now adding a rigatoni to that name so anyway that's her and um i put her in this old timey frame that's like it look the frame is not from old times the picture is old time and look at the way she's got like she's got this um this whole royal thing that like usually the sicilianos were more like peasanty like they were working in a field but she oh is this so oh, schmutzy dirty dusty uh, i'll clean that later but maybe that adds to the I don't know, it kind of adds to the appeal. But she has strong hands. Here's the story. Uh, she comes from little, she comes to little Italy. And my grandfather see, walks into somebody's kitchen on Mott Street. That's the actual street. You can find it now, but it's been taken over. It's like There's like two little Italian stores. It's not like it used to be. They're just sort of made into like a Disneyland of Siciliano, Italiano stuff, so that the people can come look like a zoo, like you're in a zoo, I need a zebra. So, um, if they just basically need a zebra to look at and to buy uh, some, whatever, mortadella. So, make a same sandwich. So, where was I going with her? Do you guys remember? Wait a second. Uh, oh, her hand, oh, the story when she met the two like Harry met Sally, but it was um, Gregorio meets Maria. So he, he walks into a kitchen, somebody's kitchen in, in literally, I don't remember which one. And this was before he had the factory and the clothing factory and the 
He still had the he still had the wood carving one where he made the tables and the carving the old little tables and he go back to this and come back and back and back and back and back. So the first time he came, this was before people really watched their kids. Now it's become popular lately, I know. But um he would they would stuck him on a boat. I think he was ten the first time and they said, You going across the ocean. But then he was like back and forth, boats back, forth, back, forth, bing 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 bing. You know, like he loved the boats. So uh what was I gonna say? Yeah, so we love the boats. You know, I love boats too. I'm very comfortable in a cruise to Puerto Rico, to an island um, paradise, and to see uh, the turquoise waters. Everything turquoise. So, oh, so he walks into this kitchen, not knowing what to expect, not knowing who's gonna be there, and he sees this this beautiful lady, and she he said she's like a delicate bird. Like, so beautiful. But she had these big, strong hands. Look at her. They're like, they're like mitts. Right? And ready to punch. And she's eating walnuts and cracking the shells with her teeth. Like, she doesn't, she don't need no, um, nutcracker. She don't need to crack the nuts herself. You know? But she, with, I mean, with an assistance, a, a nut assistance device. She just, uh, she had the mark of the macaroni, like I said. Like, I remember my aunties going, oh, you got the mark of the macaroni. You got the mark of the macaroni, just like Maria. So anyway, um, so, this, so this strong broad is cracking walnuts with her teeth. Now, nowadays, somebody might say, what's wrong with her? What's wrong with her? She's cr cracking walnuts with her teeth. She's going to break her teeth. Or she's too tough. I think she had tough teeth because I, I got the tough teeth, you know. I know my sisters, I feel bad for them. They got more like uh, British teeth. And I got, the, I got the Sicilian teeth. They look just like Roy. There. And like all my aunties. So anyway, so, and, and like this chick. So she's cracking nuts and he walks in and he's like, wow, probably like, a, you can see I'm working on my Pacino. He sees her and he, he, I bet it was just, I bet he made a noise. I wasn't there, of course, but I mean, I was, wasn't even a twinkle in anybody's eye at that point. But, uh. So he, I bet he walked in there and saw her cracking nuts with her teeth. And I bet he did a Pacino move and went, hoo That's the woman for me. That's, that's exactly how it happened in my book. Yeah, this is like a diamond almost. So anyway, so she was beautiful. B-E-E-U-T-I-F-U-L. Just a vocabulary lesson. For all use at home. So wait, where's my eyes supposed to look? I gotta get a camera person. Can't we get a team for Donny Marie? Cause she's got a lot to say. All right, I promised. I got many, many, many palettes, but I promised Jeannie, and I promised some of you that I would talk about my galaxy shades. Galaxy. Look at the planets. Oh my goodness. You've got liquidated sparkles in my moon. Um. Roof. Wait, I'll show you quick. Wait, let me see if I can get it on the camera. I know you're dying to know. The people want to know. Wait, let me hope. wait for it. Oh. Let's go up here. You're going to see the moon roof up here. There it is. Now, anytime Dorney wants, because it's huge with the U G E, you can't even see the full, you can't even see the full grandeur of that moon roof, but that was, um, that was a certain person's idea. I won't tell who, I won't able to who, because she's very, he's very secretive, and he, he drives a car that he built himself that looks like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and it's not even legally allowed on the roads, but he's a rebel, so he does it anyway. And it's around here, so you might see Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, look for it. It's like a metal contraption. This guy does roof, roof stuff. He does the roof, he does the moon roof, he does the, uh, he's the kind of guy you wouldn't expect. People underestimate him. They think he's a working class guy. They think he can't do something artistical. And he, I was thinking three sunroofs, separate ones, thin little ones, one, two, three thin ones. So one in the bathroom, one in the middle, one in this area where the paint, where I put the paint on the canvas. So, and, and also the yoga mat. So I needed a, a sunroof for each part. He goes, well, why not just have one huge, huge? He said, I could cut an absolute huge hole in your ceiling and it will not leak. That guy has got it tight. He's not going to let anything leak. Oh, Donnie, why are you talking about moon roofs? 
Well, I like to I like to catch every bit of the moon at every single day, and I have an app on my phone that tells me exactly the percentage towards full moon. It'll be like a little alert, but because I got one of I can't stand CNN alerts because they say things like the other the other day there was one that said every hot dog that you eat takes 35 days off your life. Now, how the hell did they figure out that a single hot dog has 35? Oh, that Joey Chestnuts, he's, if that is true, Joey Chestnuts is already dead five times, at least. He's been a reanimated corpse because he had so many hot dogs. So talk to, if you're going to study anything about hot dogs, I don't want to eat hot dogs unless they um made out of wheat gluten. But anyway, but if you, but it doesn't matter what you eat. It's not going to make that much, that much difference in the long run. Like, all my aunties that lived to be in the 80s, 90s, they ate, like, <laughs> what, the, what the fuck, they ate. they ate everything. And they were fine. They, they were happy. They were constantly putting on lipstick, which we all know is part of your face and makes you happy. In fact, I feel like I really need a lift because I, I don't know, any lipstick on. How can you put on eyeshadow if you don't, like, um, reflect off of the lip? I'm not going to go for a full tire today, a full donut. If somebody wanted to bring me a donut, I wouldn't say no, but I would eat a donut. I wouldn't make my lip a donut. Maybe another day I'll do the donut. I know that's what the people want. That's what everybody's asking Donnie Marie. Everybody's like, Donnie Marie, Donnie Marie, how do I get the donut look? And they have things, like, remember I was talking about the toilet plunger? They have things like this. Look, I'm not going to do it because Donnie doesn't lead you astray. They Stick it on your lips and they pop it and then they pull it out and I heard that all these ladies would go into the emergency room with these burns like a circle like a clown but not a sad clown that's kind of cute like a like a oh that was they go to emergency room and they and can you imagine how embarrassing that would be it's not like oh I ate 35 hot dogs and I'm I just took off 87 years of my life. It's they they're going to the doctor and saying I burned my lip by trying to have a donut tire on my face. Yeah. So anyway, look at the look at this. This is for Janie. Shout out to Janie, Janie, Janie. Shout out to Janie. I know she's freaking out when she's looking at this because look at this. We got the sun. That's the sun. Look at the sparkle. We got the moon. That's the moon. To the moon and back, Alice. And then. There's, this one's called Ch Charon. If anybody knows what C-H-A-R-O-N, Charon, is, it must be some planet. It's too beige for me. It's boring. Uh, Sedna? S-E-D-N-A. I don't know a lot of these planets. They must be a different galaxy than, than my mother planet. Uh, Jupiter. Know that one. That's a beautiful one. The, the main ones are the best sparkle. And then this one says, I, what's this? I almost put my glasses on when I didn't have my glasses on. I'm always doing that. I'm always going like this, like I put my glasses on. Or I have one pair of glasses on, like that. And then I put on another pair of glasses on top of it. I'm walking around like, where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? Has anybody seen my glasses? Where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? And then uh, if Donnie Rigatoni's around, he'd be like, down your face, Donnie. But... If not, then I might put another pair on top, and that's when I realize that I'm double prescriptioning myself. So, yeah. I know, that's crazy. All right, so Mars is this one. Janie, are you looking? Look when the moon roof, which still has some sun coming through, although it's very cloudy in New Jersey, but I like that. I love, I love clouds. Shout out to Mary Catherine. Mary Catherine and me are the only people in New Jersey who aren't like, where's the sun? Where's the shore? We want the clouds. And we're like texting each other all night and day. You think it's going to be cloudy tomorrow? I don't know. And she's like, don't even tell me. I can't even, I can't even stand to think about it. Because if that sun comes out and it's not cloudy, I don't see gray, I'm gonna, she's going to be so mad. And then I'm like, let's make the best of it. It's partly cloudy today. And um, yeah, it's a whole thing. We got going. Okay, here's Pluto, and to me that's a very boring color. There's no sparkle on it's beige. Beige, beige, beige. I'm so against beige. Uh, Venus. Nice. As you can see, I like yellow sometimes because it's sunny. Even though I don't like sun in this, I, I like sun in the sky, but I mean, I don't like it in my face burning me because I told you I burn. You saw that I did the instant sunburnt look. 
so you don't even have to go outside to get the look of being sunburned. I met my sisters and my dad would sit out and put the whole body in olive oil and <laughs> or baby oil um, and they get this thing. Oh, it's working because look, the moon roof is hitting the mirror. They go like this. Oh, I can't believe, Donnie, that you made such an exact representation of that moment. This is a reenactment. This is like when they have crime reenactment shows and you can see like the actors are doing it perfectly. Donnie Marie's doing it perfectly. Watch. This, this is my dad. This is the thing. And he already was like, I told you he was baseline already, born with a tan. And then he was like, I gotta make it better, I gotta make it better, I gotta make it better. And my sisters would be out there and they'd be like, Donnie Marie, what are you doing inside all day long? Are you painting again with your mother? Are you painting? Uh, what are you doing? And then they'd be like, well, come on and get some tan. I'd be like, I don't, I don't, I think you're boring. I don't wanna sit in a chair with uh, uh, olive oil all over my skin and this reflective pool that I've created with a, it had one here too though, cause it really encased you in burning sun. I, I believe those are belt, Delta rays, belt. If anybody knows alpha rays, what are the ones that are really gonna burn your skin and give you like total uh, melanomas? So sadly my sister did get a melanoma, but they caught it fast. Like she didn't like this, um, this thing on her face. Oh, I hope she's not mad about I'm talking about this. Maybe she won't watch it. Maybe she won't. I won't say which sister. And that'll kind of veil her a little bit. Because I told you guys. you got to tell me. If you want me to talk about you in the show. You can either tell me that you want to be thinly veiled character. You know, where people will know. Johnny Rigatoni. Everybody knows who Johnny Rigatoni is. I mean, it's no surprise. Like, he walks down the street or into the kitchen. And these little Rigatoni macaroni noodles. They start, like, falling out of his pockets. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Everywhere he goes, like a fair, like a pasta fairy, he's leaving little rigatonis, as he says. It's really rigatoni with an I. That's plural. The plural is implied. Dori Marie is into grammar. And he says rigatonis or re raviolis. And wait, ravioli is more than one, too. Yeah, right. And if you say per pierogies, that's okay. Like Pauline pierogi told me the other night when I was talking to her in um, Nebraska, shout out to Pauline uh, pierogi. Uh, here, I gotta replicate what I had, what this person was. Oh, I already have one brewing. And sometimes, they, everybody thought Marilyn Monroe was like the best like, and she had that huge mock that everybody thought was so sexy. So my sister had something <laughs> similar to that, but it was like not a stock. It's like a beauty mark, which I mean, the name implies beauty. And while I'm here, this thing double says an eyebrow. So, because you know you get into the eyeshadow. Let's get an arch. I want to look real angry. I want to look extra angry today. That's a good look for a woman, I think. I think that, you know, guys and girls appreciate it. Good, angry. Oh, man. I got silly there. Hmm. Look at that eyebrow. I don't know. Something about my eyebrow made me laugh. I don't know what it was. Something weird happened. It was like a spontaneous reaction of laughter when I saw how arched my eyebrow was. It had the opposite effect I was going for. Because you know how you're going for a look. Like you see all these videos online. They're going for looks. Donnie Marie was going for angry. <laughs> and instead, she laughed. So maybe these are more comical than I think. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Let me get another brush. I got so many brushes. Look at, I put them in mugs because Johnny Rigatoni is always like, you have 8,000 coffee mugs. They filled, oh, I started telling in one of my earlier tutorials, like giving you hints. I started talking about how Johnny Rigatoni opened up the dishwasher where I hide things and I hide mugs, a mug collection. And he said, how, how many mugs does one mouth need? One big mouth. So I said, there's different mugs for different moods. And I know someone who, she hasn't told me if she wants to be thinly veiled, heavily cloaked, or not cloaked at all. So leave in the comments, if you know me, uh, or even if you don't know me, you can leave. You can leave your real name, and then you can leave whether you want to be thinly veiled, like Johnny Rigatoni, everybody knows who he is, heavily cloaked. So if your name's... Say your name's Joe Smith. I'll call, if you want to be thinly veiled, I'll call you Joey Chestnut. Oh, that's the, that's the hot dog guy. 
That's what I, I had hot dogs in my mind because each one takes 35 years off. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Now it's not 35 years. It's only 35 days. So you could spare a few days. If you really want a hot dog, spare a few days. I mean, it's not. Whatever. So, what was I saying? Oh, if you want to be heavily cloaked and your name is Jim Smith. I don't know that many people named Jim Smith. But then I call you, you want to be heavily cloaked. Then I would call you something like Magoo. Uh, raviolis with an, with an S, which is improper, but I'll do it anyway, just to cloak you. Because the only reason is willing to cloak, it comes down to it. And if you if you don't care at all, oh, it's getting so hot in here. I'm going to put this ceiling fan on. Wait a second. I'm, and I'm going to take this scarf off. This I don't need this. Oh, I wonder if you could do something like, hold on. I'm going to come back. Hold on. I'm not going that far, so don't worry about it. Now I could look like one of those Star Trek women. If I go like this, like the hair to five gravity. Like that. Yeah. Now I got it going on, Dorney Marie. It's probably going to fall off at some point, but we'll go with it for now. Anyway, I'm saying these eyebrows are a little too dark. They look a little groucho moxy. I mean, now we'll go straight across, but didn't they go straight across? And the big nose, which I'm always trying to get bigger. My nose bigger. And my, like my big schnazzy father. He has a huge snatch. Yeah. So anyway, um, there. Yeah, okay. Now I haven't even gotten to the ice. I gotta. What time? Oh, Tony Marie. It's twenty-one forty-seven. So we got. Earth, oh, here's Earth, which we are burning to the ground. The lungs are gone. Did you hear that? That the Amazon lungs are gone. They're already gone already. We, they were. We were warned. But now they're gone. They were helping us breathe the world, like the, the lungs. But then we killed the lungs. So now they're actually working against us. It's true. Go look it up. Go look it up. The Amazon is ruined. We've ruined it. So now it's no longer the lungs. Now it's like the attack lung. So it's doing a reverse where it's sucking everything out. So before that dust bowl in um, the Salt Lake in, in uh, Utah, before that turns into a toxic swirling um, dust bowl that's going to poison the entire planet, part of Mexico and part of Canada, we have to put more water in that. Water, water, everywhere. Also hydrate your own body. But uh, that's your anus. Right there, your anus. That's Neptune. It's a beautiful purple. Look at the striations. I love it. And then this one's called Hormia. That sounds like a Pacino reference. Hormia. It's probably something planetary because this is all promised to be galaxy shade palette. So it's it's promised to be palette about the about the galaxy and I'm so into space. I'm painting space, I'm thinking about space all day long, and I'm looking up at the sky and I'm looking up at the moon roof. But the, the, hey, Hormia is better than I thought, because look, it's got sparkle, this purple. And then Saturn. I'm moving away from the order that it should be. Saturn has some sort of rose gold. You know I like rose gold. And have I mentioned that? Well I do. Okay. I mean, it's everywhere. Anywhere you look in the house, it's rosy. It's everywhere. Oh, it's on these glasses that I put on earlier. Let's put these on just to finish. Uh, yeah. Just to finish to show you the eyeshadow. But I gotta go under because I gotta go deep. Uh, this one's called Eris. I gotta look all these words up later because then I'm gonna have to paint them. Wait. Eris is this one. Not Eris, like I'm an heiress to a fortune, to a walnut fortune. But Eris, like E. E R I S. This one here is cool. Before I get to my favorite, this one's called. Cool. Oh, it's called Haley Haley Comet. Everybody knows that one. It's, pur it's a great purple. I'm gonna utilize that one, Jeannie. And then this one is Mercury. Oh, if you could see the texture on this, that is so insanely beautiful. Like that is Mercury, and it makes me think. Wait, let me point. That makes. Oh, look at the nail. It's it's pitiful. But uh, it makes me think of Freddie Mercury, the great Freddie Mercury, the, the great late Freddie Mercury. Yeah, sad. Freddie Mercury, I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me. He's just a poor boy, poor boy family. Anyway, that was just a quick little... That's not really, that's not really what Donny... That's, that's not the best Donny can do. She'll sing for you someday. But uh, that's all. That's uh, oh, I'm not supposed to self-depreciate. That's the rule. 
I mean, with a hairstyle like this, that's just like Star Trek, you would think that, you would think that I would have more confidence. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, I almost got my ring caught in my hair. Pull this. No earrings, Donny. You're on camera. This is getting crazy. Oh no. You know, I freed up. Johnny Rigatoni helped me clean up my act as far as my gigabytes I was talking about yesterday. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what they are still, but um, they got me to clean up all my files because you know, I'm always constantly taking snapping snaps, snapping pictures, snapping videos, snapping, snapping. I'm down at the laundromat with with Donny, um, Donny and Little Bird. This is the queen. This is the queen look. That's from Lenny. And Lenny, this was one of the ones where I bought a bunch of stuff and scarves and robe. I got the robe that he handmade. And then he's like, he's like, you know what, Jill, uh, just take that. Just take that one. I said, no. I, I always say, no. No. I'm not taking it without paying for it. Oh, I didn't finish the story about melanoma. Uh, but anyway, I'm like, I'll, I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. He's like, I want to give you a gift where you take it. You're going to make me mad if you don't take the gift. So I say, okay, I'll take the gift, whatever. So, I mean, but then I'll, I'll give back to the world by wearing it as Tony Marie, and I will tell you to go to Somewhere in Times, okay? So, um, anyway. Oh, so my sister, oh, I was supposed to veil her, he cloak her more heavily. So somebody, let's just say some girl goes to um, the doctor and says, I want to get this removed, doctor, because it makes me feel less beautiful, even though it's a beauty mark. Then he goes, uh, and she said, I want to make sure there's nothing wrong with it. He goes, nothing wrong with that one, but the one right there is bad. Let's get you right into the operating room. They had to take a huge chunk out. That's what you get for, that's what you, no, I'm, I'm not blaming her at all, but, um, but in general, you shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be doing this, and you shouldn't be doing this. Anyway, so don't. I'm not blaming her, of course not. It's not her fault. She didn't know any better. Everybody was out there with their son things. It was so crazy. All right, let's just do this quick. I mean, I this is the part I don't even care about. I just want to talk about everything. So, this is Haley's comet. Like that. And, yeah. And, uh, I'm getting bored of these. Even though, I, as much as I love eyeshadow, I'm a little bored. This one's my yellow one. Let's do this week. This up. Yellow. Just do it quick like a windshield wiper. Windshield wiper. Just pretend it's a rainy day. I'll do a little Bob Ross. Like happy little trees. Happy little trees. Happy little. Pretend it's a little. Pretend that little rascal. That little rascal needs a little Venus. That's cool. Venus. Johnny Rigatoni better not interrupt me. It's almost drum hour. I'm surprised it's late for, for drum hour. I mean it should have started by now. But he was working on a recording earlier. But that was guitar related, so. I mean, it had drums in it and bass and all that stuff, but. <sighs> Cover all the bases. I'm getting tired, and you know what? But I don't have any sparkle, so. The one that's called Sun, and we're all gonna burn up in this sun because I, I, I was thinking earlier about a theory I have that the world is becoming one big pizza oven burning up. And if you wanna look for the bright side, the silver lining, this one's called Sun. Uh, it's red. It's red sparkling. If you want to look for, ooh, look at it in the moon roof's light. Oh yeah, baby. Mm. Oh, and that red. That looks redder on camera than it is in real life. The moon. The moon. moon maki. Oh, I'll figure that one out later. I gotta Google all these names to find out what part of the universe they are. Then bring a little sun up there. This is a very sunny look, even though it's cl I like cloudy weather. And you got the sparkle. Look at that sparkle. On point, on point, on point, on point. It's on every point it could possibly be on. <laughs> My back, I'm going to get in trouble if I, if I stay up right too long. Everybody, Bobby Mozzarella's going to yell at me. Johnny Rigatoni's going to yell at me. I'm going to have to yell back and I'm going to get my voice tired because I'm always screaming around here. I mean, I think that's good enough. I didn't put any mascara. I don't feel like it. I was going to show you how I do 18 coats of mascara to get a, a look that's seductive. But um, I don't really give a fuck. So, uh, I mean, if you don't want to look at me, don't look at me. And the whole thing is, 
Okay, look at my on point eyeshadow. Oh, but wait, one more thing. This is something I love, and I'm not showing the brands. Back off, back off. Where's my mace? Back off, back off. I'll threaten you with my spackla. Um, so this is a spackla, and instead of just making um, look for eyeshadow, this is what I like to do. I like to go like flash, like a lightning flash on there. Yeah. Can you see it? Oh, there, when the moon roof hits it, you get a sparkle of lightning. And then on this side, just so people know, they see you coming, they, they see you walking down Raritan Ave or towards the Greeks on the corner to get the cookies and the Fredo cappuccino. They know what's, they know what they're getting into. You know what, I just have it go down and trail it down to the birthmark that I created. Oh, look at that, Tony Marie. You look so amazing today. Let's look in this thing, because this is a different mirror. This is the one, this is the one like Hollywood. What did I drop? Oh, those are my glasses. Uh, this is the one like Hollywood, because it makes you think of those, um, old world Hollywood where they look into the, well, let me just give you a demonstration. Like they look into the mirror like that and they got the lights on before they do, when they do the theater makeup and the, oh, oh Donnie Marie. What are you doing, Donnie Marie? Ah, oh, jeez. I should have just put on a flower, right? Instead of this thing, it's hard to deal with. I mean, I already had the leopard. So, so here's one last hint before I go. If you got a flower, a fake flower, and you got on a leopard thing, just sort of try to embed it. You hide it, man. Yeah. I got this on my honeymoon, actually, up in, I told you about my prison yard honeymoon. God, this was ridiculous. Walking through that Tunda and Maria, she lied about how close we were to the town. She had the, I at least I learned to put corn into eggs, but with uh, red peppers, and she didn't give us none. And she also had an entire fish in the middle of the table every morning. It was like a huge deep fried fish. At the time I was eating fish and I was like, sitting there with looking at trying to work at Tony. Why don't we get no fish that's deep fried? It's like the one that I got with Anita Zebra before we went into the plankton lake in Puerto Rico. We're going at night and the, you go, it's dark. It's kind of a little scary, I promise. You'll be okay. And it's, the water's black, but when you look at it, when you move your hand through it, it goes, like this magical land. It's like sparkles like you've never seen. You can go there and you can eat that big fish. It's a, each person, each one of us got a deep fried fish. And it came with all the fixings, onions and like potatoes. They were like fried. They weren't really fried, they're like sauteed, almost like a, like a New Jersey diner. Hash brown, but much better. Everything was better there. I would move there in a second. I would move there in a second. Johnny Rigatoni was into it, and he is kind of into it. Yeah. I wouldn't even care about that whole pendejo loop thing. I like the pendejo loop. I try to recreate it with Anita Zebra all the time uh, on the streets in Highland Park. We try to create that pendejo loop feeling. We're looping around and around and around just for fun. So anyway, anyways, uh, I think I should end on that note because that's a positive note. And I'm trying to be positive. I mean, not toxically so. I'm not forcing anyone to be happy. They don't want to be, but wait, wait for it, wait for it. This is gonna, this is gonna finish off the look. Even though you would think. Oh, and by the way, Johnny Rigatoni gave me these Wonder Woman socks. I won't show you the full glory now. That'll be another podcast when I talk about my Wonder Woman socks and my Wonder Woman obsession and the fact that I wrote to Linda Carter when I was eight years old and she sent me a signed, uh, a signed picture and I thought she was so beautiful. Oh, and this is why I always wear these types of cuffs because I used to say to my sisters, all right, shoot, go ahead, shoot the gun. And they were like, someone into it. And I was like, come on, shoot the gun. And then I would go with the bullets and I had a little lasso, the lasso of truth. And Dorothy Marie still employs the lasso of truth in her daily life. Because you wrap that, just like Wonder Woman, you wrap that around someone, they can't lie. And you know there's a lot of you lying out there every day to yourselves, to your friends, to your families, to your neighbors, you're lying, 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 to your, everybody, you're, everybody's lying. So sick of it. Dorothy Marie cannot lie.
it's impossible. That's why so many people think this is fictional and it's not. I mean, I know a lot of the stuff sounds crazy, but it's absolutely true. And um, oil, yeah. And constantly oiling and creaming and everything. So, um, yeah, that's it. Oh, how long? 35 minutes, 19 seconds. Oh, damn it. Well, I'm out. I went too long. But just look at the glory of it all. The, um, look at that. Yeah, the lightning, lightning. It's kind of self, it's defeating the purpose to put the glasses on because you can't see the sun that I created on my eyes and the eyebrows that I created. That a dock and, yeah. The dark Sicilian lip. That's what we call it. The flower. Let's just pose like this at the end. I'm watching that. I just started watching that show Sunny Boy told me about pose. It's supposed to be revolutionary. It's by Ryan Murphy. I love all his stuff. I love Ratched. Uh, about the nurse. I loved um, American Horror Story. All oh, those are good. There's a little cat. I bet Susie can only like these glasses because they got a little catty on the end. I didn't even realize that. I just thought they were fabulous. Like Elton John. Mm-hmm. Let me, let me give you this pose. That's a little too dark. You got the lightning bolt going down to the birthmark. You got the engagement ring of the day. You got um, this, this bracelet's from San Diego. This bracelet's from Austin, Texas. And these are just random sundry items. And this one's the Wonder Woman. So if any bullets are coming by, I'm ready for them. All right. Oh, stop talking, Dawn Emery. But let's just make a pose so that people can see the look that they could achieve if they try. I know everybody's trying to achieve the looks out there. I'm actually just trying to get enough uh, dough together to feed some kids. I'll get to that later. Not my kids. I don't have kids. Other kids. Other people's kids I want to feed. All right. There you go. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to contact that guy who does the world's biggest kitchen. Jose Andres. That guy's pretty damn cool. Look into him. That's for another day. Oh, look, complimentary colors. I'm always telling the kids that you got purple and yellow opposite on the color wheel. And that's good. All right. I'm going to stare at my moon roof for a while, so get out of my face. All right? I'm just going to stare at my moon roof it, with all this glory happening. And, and um, that's it. Staring at the moon roof.